In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome glitching, distorting text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open and you've got a brand new sequence created, we want to start by creating a brand new legacy title. So we'll go to File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this menu. And then we're just going to type out some text. So I'm going to type out the word glitch. I'm going to change the font to a veneer. I'll make this bold, increase the size. I'll center this up and then we'll come out of this window. Now we'll drag that text layer over onto our sequence onto video layer one and we'll just extend the duration of this over to the right. Now we're going to effects and search for wave warp. That should be in distort and when you find that you should drop wave warp onto the text layer. And instantly you'll see you've got this really awesome waving, warping effect happening to our text. And if we increase the wave height, you can see this animating up and down. But of course, if we go into wave type, we can change the type of animation. So we've got sine, square, triangle. We've got sawtooth, circle, semicircle, uncircle, noise, and smooth noise. So it's completely up to you which setting you use here. Each different setting will give you a slightly different look on your text distortion effect, but the animation process is the same, regardless of which wave type you choose. So we've got all of these different settings here. We've got wave height, and that adjusts the height of the distortion. We've got wave width, and that adjusts the width of the effect. We have direction, we've got wave speed, and if you increase the wave speed, then this will distort even faster than you would do if you have a lower setting. And then of course we've got pinning, phase and anti-aliasing, but none of these three settings matter. We just need to focus on those first few settings. So to begin with this effect, we're gonna go over to wave height and we're gonna set this to zero. Then we'll create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon. We'll move over to the right, so we'll move ahead with the cursor head, maybe four keyframes, and we'll increase the value of the wave height. So I've adjusted this to 19. Now we'll go ahead maybe another four or five keyframes in time. So we'll go over to the right and we'll pull this back down to zero. And if we watch this back, we've got this really quick glitch effect happening. And of course, if we copy and paste these by selecting the keyframes, holding command C and command V several times, then it's just gonna keep pulsing on and off. And as you can see, if we change the wave type from what we currently have to another variation, then all of those keyframes that we created on the wave height will still be applied to the new wave type. So one really quick and really easy way of animating and adding some text distortion is by adding these keyframes and just pulsing the text on and off. And this is basically all you need to know when it comes to this text distortion effect. You have to choose a wave type and you have to animate your wave height on and off and you'll get a different look depending on which settings that you use. Obviously, the higher you increase the number on the wave height, the more distortion you're going to see on your texts and the more aggressive the animation will be. So go through all of these settings and animate the text distortion effect to however you like. And once you're happy with this, you've now completed the effect. And that is how you do the text distortion effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.